Maddie Monday. Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to our channel and yes you guys today is a special edition of Maddie Monday and that's because we are actually going to do two themes for this week's Maddie Monday because I actually missed last week so starting out my Maddie's wanted to wish me a happy birthday so they all did not want to be in the video and for anybody that knows, when I get all of my Maddies together, it tends to be a bit of chaos in the nursery. And so we just went ahead and went with Olive. She's going to represent all of the Maddies. And she is dressed in this pretty party dress. Yes, she is. Doesn't she look pretty? And I'm kind of dressed up just a little bit for the party. For the pretend party. <laughs> And so they wanted to just wish mommy a happy birthday. So I thought I would um, go ahead and go with some birthday um, backgrounds. Yeah, and so um, some stuff that's coming up this week is we will be going live on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Central for all of our Cloud Insiders and 6 o'clock p.m. Central for everyone else. And it's going to be another game night. That's right, I'm going to borrow another game from Pudgy Papa. And let's see what kind of game we could come up with this week. It was just fun playing that game last week. I don't think we was playing it right. But anyway, and we also have our giveaway. Yes, this Thursday starts our November giveaway on Bella's Baby Day. So you guys make sure and keep an eye out for that video. And that is when the November giveaway will start. This is not the video. Nope, it's going to be on Bella's Baby Day, and I will let you guys know how to enter, and we'll show the baby. So that's coming up on Thursday, and well, you guys, it's only Monday, and my birthday is not officially until the 22nd on Friday, but I won't be doing another Maddie Monday before my birthday, so that's why I wanted to do some really cool birthday backgrounds and, you know, just, just um, kind of have fun with it. <laughs> So we actually still have a week to go before I actually hit 53. And so that is what's going on. And I think um, I received some tickets in the mail from the North Pole. Yes, uh, tickets for me and Jingles. That's because Jingle is going to go and visit his elf friends for a couple of days. We're going to go to the North Pole and spend a couple of days there visiting his elf friends before they have to start really getting busy at the North Pole for, you know, the Christmas holiday. So we're going to be doing that sometime this week, too. So we're going to partake of those tickets and we're going to head on out with Jingles to the North Pole to visit some of his elf friends. And so that is what's going on. Plus, we have our throwback Thursday. What did I say? We was going to do Bella's Baby Day on Thursday. We might go ahead and do it um, Wednesday. Let's go ahead and switch that to Wednesday. Um, and that way, um, Thursday, I could do the throwback Thursday. Because I really enjoy doing my throwback Thursdays. So we're going to go ahead and switch Bella's Baby Days and actually be on a Wednesday. And then we'll run that giveaway for a few days before I draw the name. So there you go. That's how we're going to do that this week. And uh, yes, like I said, throwback Thursday. And then you just never know what we're going to come up with. I actually am having a real, real birthday party um, Friday at Pudgy Papa's. So that is what's going on. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to film some footage. But I might go ahead and get some footage for my birthday party. Because we're going to be doing, I think we're going to be doing um, karaoke and playing some um card games and stuff like that so and my daughter my granddaughter uh, for my birthday is giving me a makeover so she's supposed to do the paws and claws uh for grandma <laughs> and makeover that's right so that's what's kind of happening for my birthday week and what's happening on my birthday i mean i don't know of anything else as of right now happening so let's go ahead and switch it up 
and turn it into maybe an autumn background, Thanksgiving. Um, I know not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving, and so I want to kind of I talk about our theme, which our theme last week that I had to miss out because I was out of town, you guys. But our theme last week for Maddie Monday, which Life with Lois actually partaked in, was what is your favorite Thanksgiving or autumn food? And so I want to go ahead and let you guys know about mine. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about my, my favorite autumn food. And I would have to say, and this isn't Thanksgiving, I mind you, this is whenever it's cold outside and it's snowy and you're in your warm jammies and you're just sitting down to a nice warm dinner and you need something to warm those bones up chicken and dumplings that's right you guys one of my favorite autumn cold day uh, meals is chicken chicken and dumplings that's right i love chicken and dumplings right what do you love what do you love? You love chicken dumplings too, don't you, baby? So chicken and dumplings would have to be like one of my favorite like cool weather foods. Um, as far as like autumn time and desserts, you guys would be surprised, but I'm not really a pie person. Um, I don't really like pie. I like like cream pies, like coconut cream, banana cream. Um, I'm not really that much of a chocolate person, so I'm not that big into the chocolate pies. But um, I really don't like fruit pies and stuff like that so I don't really know what my favorite autumn um I think one of my favorite would have to be um like apple crisp um things like that um I do like peach cobbler and apple cobbler so maybe a nice cobbler would be good on a cold autumn day uh, well more of a winter day so now let's see I'm going to go ahead and share my favorite Thanksgiving food with you guys and my least favorite so my favorite favorite Thanksgiving meal is and if you have this on the plate then I'm perfectly happy is turkey and stuffing okay I don't really care about mashed potatoes because I'm not really a potato person if I have my choice between french fries and onion rings onion rings beats out every every time believe it or not I do eat them they're not gross they're not wretched they're not nothing like that I'm just I don't know I'm just not I, I'm not that big on mashed potatoes french fries a baked potato oh God. some people are like oh a baked potato with the fixings not Rebecca Rebecca's like I don't like baked potatoes <laughs> so um, I'm not that big on mashed potatoes but you gotta have gravy with your stuffing and then of course we got to have our candied yams yes with um, the marshmallows and the butter and the brown sugar and all the calories and all the gooey, gooey ooey goodness <laughs> people actually want me to make my yams at Thanksgiving I'm such a, they're such a fan of the way I do my yams the only thing I do is I make sure I do two bags of marshmallows so you got ooey gooey 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 <laughs> And so, of course, you got to have the yams, and you got to have the cranberry sauce. And the canned cranberry sauce is A-OK -okay because there's been plenty of Thanksgivings that we've had to use the canned. But I actually like to make my own cranberry sauce um, from scratch. You know, you just buy the bag of fresh cranberries, and it tells you pretty much on the back how to do it. It's super easy, you guys, if you want to try it this year. Um, so I like to do my own cranberry sauce. And let's see what soup. Um, rolls. It's pretty traditional, but eh, I don't care about the rolls either. I'm not a big bread bread person um, that much. So, and then for vegetables, I do not. I'm telling you guys the things I don't like and the things I do like when it comes to Thanksgiving. Green bean casserole. Blech. I don't like it. <laughs> And, and, it, and here's the only reason I don't like it. I burnt myself out on green beans. Um, whenever I was trying to diet, oh my goodness. Um, me and Nanny and my brother, we have tried so many different diet techniques. And so one of them was you, and Pudgy Papa was in on this one too, meal prep. Make your meals, you freeze them, and that's what you eat for like the whole week. And we would try to do like a diet meal we'd always make sure it was like diety and stuff and green beans was like a common vegetable and so i 
don't really eat green beans now. I literally burnt myself out on them. I ate so many of them that I just can't even stand green beans now. And so, <laughs> green bean casserole is out for me. But deviled eggs is always good to have too. Let's see, am I forgetting any traditional Thanksgiving that's pretty much would make me happy if that's what was on my plate. Oh, vegetables. We saw it vegetables. Um, I like asparagus. I like all vegetables. And I would eat green beans, just not in the green bean casserole form. But maybe if they were just plain with maybe some butter, I'd, I'd eat it. Or some Brussels sprouts is what would be my winning um, vegetable. Would be like Brussels sprouts, maybe roasted in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and bacon. You know, um, or just root vegetables, carrots um, and yeah, potatoes do go along the lines of this. So maybe some chunked up potatoes, red potatoes, maybe some sweet potatoes, you know, turnips, anything like root, roast it in the oven would also be like my choice. And I think for our choice dessert, I don't, I'm not a pie person. I really am not a pie person. I will eat a piece of pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. I don't touch pumpkin nothing for the rest of the year. Because with me, one thing of pumpkin, whether it be a muffin, a latte, cookies, cereal, you know, Pop-Tarts, they come out with all kinds. I don't partake in any of that. Because if I eat one thing that tastes like pumpkin, I'm done. I am completely, utterly done for the year. So I might have like one slice of pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving if I haven't had it already. Um, but I actually would prefer sweet potato pie myself over a pumpkin pie. Which is crazy because I'm a November baby, you know, so you would think. <laughs> but I actually like um, apple crisp. Like I said, apple crisp is... Um, one of my favorite desserts in the fall. Anything apples. I love anything apples. Caramel apples around Halloween time. I eat caramel and apples all year round. It doesn't even have to be. Um, but I don't like apple pie. That's crazy. I don't. I don't like apple pie. But I love apple crisp. One of my most fondest favorite memories is um, when I was in school elementary school I mind you and we would have our lunches we would sit down and anytime they had apple crisp as their dessert I was in heaven so apple crisp is like one of my favorite um, desserts <laughs> around the holidays I also do like puddings um, puddings is also um, another good thing and um, uh, broken glass is another um, anybody that doesn't know what broken glass is it's um, like you take three different color jellos and you um, make them and then you put them in a bowl but you like put let's say if you got red you put the red down then whipped cream then maybe put your blue jello down then whipped cream and then maybe top it with say orange you know and then whipped cream on top and then that way when you cut into it it's you know you're you're not making it where it's watery again but you know you're kind of crunching up and in so it looks like broken glass on your plate all the different colors <laughs> That's one of our fan favorites at, at, around my family. We love broken glass. So, yes, and a good fruit salad. Oh, my God. And I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about it's got to be one of the heavy-duty fruit salads where you got all the fruit and you got, like, cream cheese and you got the condensed milk and you got the nuts and the marshmallows and the grapes. And that's the kind of fruit salad um, that I like. So, those are just a few Thanksgiving foods that I enjoy and, you know, some that are not really, you know, I, I pretty much told you if I had all that stuff on my plate, I'd be a happy camper. I wouldn't need anything else. Um, but I would love to hear some of your guys' uh, favorite foods down in the description box below. It'd be fun for you guys to share it. Um, our tradition used to be, many, many years ago, me and Nanny would always cook Thanksgiving and we would serve at our house. And I would get up early in the morning, and, I, and I'm one of those types that I'm like, I got it. I got this. I got this. No, no, no. Get out of the kitchen. I got this. I got this. No, no, no. I don't need your help. I'm one of those types. <laughs> so my daughter-in-law and my daughter had to watch me closely because um, they're, because my daughter, they try to do my Thanksgiving now because for a few years now, well, ever since we moved into this house that we're in now, it's a lot smaller of a trailer. And when we get everybody together, um, it, it takes a lot between my nieces, my nephew, you know, my brother, his family. Um, it takes a lot. We just don't have the room here to 
host a bunch of people. So a few years ago, we started getting to where actually me and Nanny kind of separate on Thanksgiving. She goes over to my brother's and I stay here and I go to my daughter's and Pudgy Papa's now for my grandkids. And so we haven't actually cooked in a while. But, you know, I was just letting you know, those are coming some of the stuff that I enjoyed cooking and serving and stuff like that. And so I would love to hear maybe what you guys have going on this Thanksgiving or um, if you have anything going on um, and what's some of your favorite foods or just some of your favorite foods in autumn in general. So, I don't think I missed anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Maddie Monday, this little chitty chatty Maddie Monday. <laughs> Talking about some of our favorite foods. I must have woke up hungry this morning. Actually, I am getting excited about Thanksgiving food. I am, you guys. That's the fun thing about Thanksgiving is really the getting together, the family, and the eating the really good food. And having the excuse that it's okay to gorge yourself that day. You can. It's okay. Or at least I tell myself that. I don't have to stop. I could just eat, 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 eat. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner is actually my favorite meal um, of the whole year. That's my favorite. Over Christmas, over Easter, over your Sunday dinners. Thanks, the Thanksgiving meal, the food, is my actual favorite meal I could have. Yeah. If I ever had to say what, if I had to pick a last meal, that would be my last meal. It would be a Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> So anyway, I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. Um, if you like this video, oh, next Maddie Monday, what are we going to do? Let's see. I think we should go along the lines of a color thing. You know, like pick a color and then let's try to do something with that color. And you know what? I think um, let's go ahead and do a color that we don't usually do. And let's go and do the color gray. Yeah, I wonder what we can do with the color gray. So that's the theme for next week is the color gray. Make of that how you will. Do of that how you will. You know how we do. And yes, my little friend the fly only comes out when I'm filming. And he's here. He has to make his appearance on the camera. So until the next video, everybody. Bye. Just another Mighty Monday